God damn it, I've installed the game to the hard drive and the loading times are still quite long. But I hope it makes the game crash less, that'll be what I want. For you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. He doesn't know I'm a child, doesn't oh, he? Follow me then. He also don't look like hero material. Why don't you just stop crying for everyone dying? Give him, I don't trust him yet, I'll You'll be let him go ahead. Just respect. teleport onto the bed. Okay, it's fine. Peoples. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. Bye. Good luck dealing with the death of your family and friends. <laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happened to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Fucking throw us into the fire. We've only got here last night. We've already started training. Hmm. Looks like the guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go. Yeah. Here we go at the Guild of Heroes. We aren't going to be a hero. We're going to be a fucking villain. I believe there's only two side quests we can do, and there's a hidden cutscene which I'll show you in a second. First we'll do the really easy side quest, which is gather four apples and give it to a servant in the servant quarters and she'll make us a pie, which is lovely. Absolutely lovely. And there's just apples on the floor. We need four. See one over there. Number three. And there's one over there. We'll ignore the guildmaster for now. We'll do everything else first. This is where the archers train. Really? You don't say? Yeah, with Whisper following us around, she's going to be like a tutorial and tell us where everything is, but mm. fuck I have it. to make an apple pie for the guildmaster at the end of the week. But I can't find any more red apples. I only need another four. Well, you're in luck. Enough, can you bring them back here? I'll reward you. Oh yeah? Here you go. Thanks. Thank you <laughs> so much. The guildmaster will get his pie. Here. Very well. Blueberry pie. I'll take it. Okay, so uh, we'll do the um, the cutscene first. The mission's right next to here, but we might as well have a look as we pass by. The journey's length is of no consequence. The Oracle must be protected. How can you be so sure? We might need you here. Who knows what battles we might face? The signs are too strong to ignore, and the Northern Wastes have been too long isolated from the Guild. There is much I may learn there. Well, I hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight, trying to cheat death again. You know how people talk. Talk is of no ah, matter. I love the design of that guy. May death Got fucking fangs and everything. What are you waiting for? Come in. I don't want to come in because there was a fucking there dead guy standing there. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bones and blood in his veins. He's just a shell now. What does he know of the choices we have to make? Of what it takes to get things done? Okay. So, Psyph is like um, a hero. I don't think we... I don't know if we see him again or not. But, 
So there's loads of lore about him that you can find him when you read the books, which I'm not going to do because that's Hi, fucking boring. We're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that. Will do. Right then, get to the demon door and back and talk to me in 50 seconds. Yeah. Bit obsessive, but I'll do it. Let's go. I remember if rolling is faster. We should be able to do this just fine. I always do this one with just like a second left. I just wonder if there's like a trick you can do to do this like instantly. And you get stuck on every fucking rock as you pass by. That's brilliant. It's fine. A bit below half a time. I don't know if we'll make it. I don't know if we'll make it. We'll fucking try. Out of my way, people! I'm trying to win a bet. Seven, six, five, four, yeah, well, three. It done it. That's amazing! How did you do it? I lost my bet. To a child, you fool! It's my five coins. That's pretty useless, but I'll take it. And then let's actually start the tutorial now. You had to wait a bit longer, Gilmaster. I had some shit to do. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. You're going to be fighting our strongest warrior. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. I'm not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. Okay, I'm literally on day one of training and they're expecting me to do shit. Not making much of an impact there. I haven't done like any training at all. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Done. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance, while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Wait, do we start today? Okay, bunch of beetles in the woods. We gotta kill them. And pick these up. I think that should become valuable at some point. Because I don't think you can find any other cooking apples in the entire world. Oh, I've got to kill ten beetles. Easy enough. When you can hit them. Come on. Damn it! Be my wrath, beetles. I've got a lot of anger pent up from, you know, all the murder. And they sound so annoying. I hate the sound they make. Done. Like I said, this is all just part of the tutorial. It wasn't too long, I think, but I don't know. I think they do a lot of story points to it, which make it bearable. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here. I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. I'm way ahead of there. You get an early night. Let's go, I've already done everything else here. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Maze had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Just been fucking around for the past few years, making fun of him. Get out of bed, lazy Wow, that lip sync. <laughs> Supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other I side of the lake. I don't like it skipped in as well. Whoa, what's going on? 
We better get going. Race you there. I wasn't skipping anything there. That was just the game fucking up. Brilliant, lovely, fantastic. Okay, so this is actually a race, and I'm going the wrong way immediately because I am actually going to beat her. There's a shortcut that you can go over here. I think she goes down below and through like the tavern bit. If you go this way, you always win. And done, where is she? You do seem to have a problem getting up, lad. Yeah, no, I mean, I've been training for how many years now? Let us commence then. Yeah, I was going to wait for Whisper. There she is. She's stuck behind the people. Brilliant. Let us commence then. Talk to the guildmaster. Yeah, it's fine. I thought she would say something. Never mind. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Jesus, throwing us into the deep end here. Come on then, let's see what you've got, farm boy. As she clips her own staff for herself, that's fine. There we go. Don't know why when I did the good play for I could flourish like this, where you can actually hurt her. I thought I should uh, go for it, why not? Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. And this is it. You hang around until she's done hitting your sword. You can't stop me every time. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack. Oh, that dude is massive. Look at him. Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha. <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. Here we go. Let's kick the shit out of Whisper. Yes. Damn it. They even touch me. That's Fucking wrong, awesome. Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is. Without the two of you tearing each other I was going apart. to let him tire himself out. Speaking by beating the shit out of me. Beat me as I make my way to the archery range. When you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Done. I do not want to then repeat. Me by the archery range to continue your training. Okay. I'm gonna hang behind you. So, we have to do all of these training exercises twice now. Are you ready for your archery training? Once with the guildmaster and once with like the exam people, I guess. Let's continue our training with the bow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. Okay. Easy to do. You can fire it hard with that. Easy. Well done. You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. 
So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point, the middle one is worth three, and the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points, but you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. Okay, here we go. Come on, lad. Get your bow out. Damn it. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. That was terrible. That was even worse. Come on. Well, to be fair, it doesn't matter if you do it with the gear master or not. It's when you're in the exam, that's when it matters. God damn! That was just fucking awful. Come on! You gotta fire ahead of it. And I hit the wall. Uh, I think that's enough to get the top score anyway, so that's fine. I'm happy. Ignore the missing shots, it's fine, it's fine. It's about total score. Excellent shooting, my lad. Do that in your skill test and I'll be most impressed. Yeah, let's move. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. Okay, and now it looks like side quest has opened up and this is an evil side quest. So of course we're gonna do it. Hello there, apprentice. I need someone to kill the sparrows nesting around the guild. A disgusting vermin. Okay, why not? Those damn sparrows are making a right mess of the guild. Just look at them. I'll pay you five gold for every one you kill. Just come and see me every time you kill another one. Okay, so that's his quest. Kill all the sparrows. And I think you can't there is a limit to them, so you, once you kill all of me we'll say. And I think it'll give you a bonus if I remember. Well, okay. God damn it. Why is it going down? There's two of that actually. They were moving at the exact same speed. Yeah, I know. There's another one. I want it. I want to kill it. Better to do this with magic, actually, because magic never misses like that. Damn it, and the camera sucks as well. You can't turn it up or down. Wow, that wasn't even me. I'm, the game's targeting now. This is this is the game doing this. Uh, it's not me. Now this is me. There we go. I'm better than the game. Uh, there was no one on top of the roof there. I see you, bird. There we go. Right up his ass. See how many more there are. I know there's a limited amount. I just don't remember how many. This game sucks. Why does the aim go off to the side? Oh my god, there's loads. Seriously, why is the targeting fucked up? Because is it like the sparrows only? Like the game can't work out their hitbox. It's going to be a pain finding what was on one there. God damn it! No, okay. I have to keep an eye out. I think I remember where one is. I think it's on the roof over here somewhere. I think I'm going to hit the wall right in front of me. 
No, and that hit the sparrow, what the fuck? There we go. 